shot, I started out um, picking three varieties of corn to put in, and that didn't seem like um, too intense. And then I decided to go with um, uh, different planting populations, so I um, that doubled it from three to six, and then I decided to go with uh, 30 inch rows and then the 30, 60, 30, and that doubled it again. Um, and then I went with, uh, with the interseeding, I used the UW mix and then I got a mix of my own. And then I went with, um, there's one check strip, and then I went with two different planting um, types. I got the drill that I set up for planting and then I got the cedar spreader. And all of a sudden I was up to 48 different trials. So I got to be a pretty, pretty intense trial, but um, happy to, to see all the differences and the results from that. So, um, and, and then I've also got two different herbicides. The north half of the field, I went with 30 ounces of Roundup Power Max and eight ounces of Verdict, which gives uh, a short residual window. And then on this half, I went with 30 ounces of Roundup Power Max plus uh, half an ounce of Cadet, and that's neither one has any residual activity. Um, and as I said, I planted each variety with two populations, and the 3060 population, I, I set the corn planter at one and a half times uh, the 30 inch population to equal the same population per acre. And um, I believe it's the first variety is a, a DeKalb 44-80 VT2, and that says it's got a great flex across soil types that allows for use of lower populations. So I planted that at two different populations, but both um, lower populations. Um, and then the, the middle variety is a Dairyland 3366 AM, and that's a shorter stature, and I planted that at my normal normal population of 32,000 and then a and then a second population I, each one I said 4,000 seeds in between the two different populations and the, then the last one is a decaled 4375 VT2 and that says it responds to higher populations so then I planted that one at a higher population um, and, and this herbicides I had mentioned already that and the, the drill I used to intercede is a John Deere 515 and you can take a take a look at it later on it's 10 inch spacing and then I removed every um, removed every third row so that left me with two rows 10 inches apart between the corn rows and the uh,